Hi, I'm Chef Mark. Welcome to LearnToCook.com. Today we'll be learning how to cook a steak. We're going to pan fry it on the stove in a nice skillet. This is a Kansas City steak. Kansas City strip means bone in. New York strip means boneless from the sirloin. I salted that on both sides, room temperature, kosher salt, sea salt, and I put it in a hot skillet to sear. I want to show you what I have here now. So that's, that's searing. I want to turn it regularly to brown on all sides. Then as I'm turning it to brown on all sides, I want to baste it. I also have in the pan two cloves of garlic and a beautiful sprig of rosemary. It smells spectacular. You want to frequently turn your steak over. Don't pierce it, just try to turn it over. You want, it, you want to baste this steak because when you brown and sear a steak, it actually opens up the fibers. It's a fallacy that searing seals in any liquid. It doesn't. It actually opens it up and you lose liquid when you sear meats. So you want to return that liquid by basting it. Now the fat I'm using is, is coconut oil. It's uh, monosaturated, very healthy. Uh, for you now it's organic coconut oil. That gives me a little more ability to sear or to cook because if I use butter, it's going to burn, right? Even clarified butter tends to burn. So this coconut oil, oh, this is just beautiful. Isn't that color spectacular? The garlic is flavoring the oil. You can use clarified butter. If rosemary is flavoring that. I'm going to, I'm going to just going to baste that. Then I'm going to check and season. Mid, medium rare, how do I know? I put my thumb and middle finger together, I press that pad below my thumb right here. Medium rare, it's firm but spongy. So that steak is ready to be, to be served up. So I'm going to remove my steak, place it on my platter. Sizzling hot. Heat it up. And here I have the, that debris. Some of that great oil. I'm going to deglaze a little wine. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of prepared mustard. Swirl that in. It's smelling quite wonderful. And I'm going to add about a quarter cup of a little ancho stock, ancho chili stock. You can use a beef stock, works fine. I'm going to whisk that together. Let that reduce. Let the wine evaporate. You want to use a wine that you would want to drink. You wouldn't want to use some wine that you wouldn't drink. So cooking wine wouldn't work. So I'm going to add a little pepper to that mixture. Just a little bit as it sizzles. Came to a boil. I'm going to pour it over our steak. Make sure when you serve the steak to the guest that the bone is facing away from them so they don't bang into a bone. And we'll pour that beautiful sauce over the top. Many times that's called wine merchant brachant de van sauce. That's a beautiful preparation. And I know one of which you'll enjoy. So that's how to do a pan fried steak. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm.